Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Soviet Sundays with Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. I hope you've been enjoying the series thus far. Certainly seems to be the case. And if you have been enjoying and you'd like to see it continue, make sure you let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. Some of you might not know, but I have turned to YouTube full time now, so I have to be a lot more picky and a lot more strategic with how I approach content on the channel based on what people are interested in. So those likes and comments make a huge difference. And uh, if you are a patron or a channel member, and it's particularly because of this series, you should let me know as well, just so I know exactly what it is people want to see. I need those, uh, I need those little bits of information to make important decisions. Uh, but yeah, let's get things going as this session we are going to uh, cement our plans of uh, internalizing construction materials. I am very sorry about that. I could not resist. Uh, you know how it is. So we are actually going to try and get some more development going on over here. Again, fortunately, well, fortunately, uh, finally, we've built our, uh, our, our what we need to get uh, wood and boards and stuff cut down and, and chopped to size. Uh, we've got all this set up. We've got uh, some gravel being, or rather, some stone being processed to gravel as well. But uh, we only have two spots over here from where we are actually getting... Um, well, from where we're actually getting quarried stone, it's pretty slow to produce. We might actually need even more of these little uh, uh, little uh, quarries over here to make sure that our rate of production is pretty fluid. But for now, we are going to ship everything down to this train station, which has this horrible looking setup. But I guess that's the reality of a, of a manufacturing and a factory area. It's an ugly setup, but it does the job. Uh, we're going to make sure that we're exporting as much... Um, as much gravel as possible for now, I think. Uh, we're going to uh, export wood and boards as well. Or maybe we'll just export boards, actually. Let me just check really quickly over here. Um, wood is 6.82 and boards are 10.68. Okay, so no point. No point doing uh, wood. So in that case, let's go ahead and get ourselves a little vehicle of open top variety, I believe carry uh, nine tons of board again we're gonna try and keep it a little cheap here folks try and keep it a little cheap here four tons at a time is kind of silly four thousand we can carry nine tons we'll probably get that we'll get this open trailer over here that open trailer is going to move boards from there down to here yeah so let's go ahead and get you moving here down to here, you're going to pick up, sure, 100% of anything, unload 100% of anything, easy enough, get you started. Now, so you didn't have to, didn't have to spend too much time pondering that. Over here, lots of bricks that have been produced but need to be carried out. Some of these trucks are loading up, that's good, that's good. We Again, we need to make sure that we are exporting as quickly as possible. I might need to add more trains to our network as well, but for now, we're okay. That's a passenger train, that's not what I wanted. Uh, you, are you one of our trade trains? You are. Uh, and you load bricks over there, you should also load boards. Cool. But 100% of that, and we could wait until loaded if we really want to um, speed things up over here. Well, hold on. Yeah, and then, ugh, okay, right, and then over here, we also need to load quarried stone. No, gravel. Right. Okay. Just making sure we're doing all this right. Cool. And I do need my passenger train. Just going to double check. Can't remember if I made the change to it. These guys go to Luhajik. That's not the one I wanted. I wanted the one that uh, goes to the farm. Oh, okay. No, we're not having... I thought we were having trouble here. I was like, wait a second. So you are there and you're dropping people off over here at platform number two. Cool. And uh, now we hit play and see if all this actually works. Uh, this is going to be an interesting session, I think, as we try to finally make some more money um and we try to employ all these people back over here again they've got places to go when it comes time to get work lots of workers waiting and hopefully we're able to pick up enough of them and move them along the thing that i might want to do actually is add another um r to this train just because we want to make sure it's carrying as much as possible. So once this train actually gets back to the Mormorsk train platform, I'll, I'll probably push it back to the depot and then uh, get it to um, get it to add another passenger wagon there. 
Things are going pretty smoothly, though, as far as, uh, as far as all this is concerned. I wonder if we need to add this as a stop on the way back to pick people up. Otherwise, how are they going home? They're, I mean, I guess they're just teleporting home. Now, you are going to be picking stuff up over here, so let's keep an eye on that train as well. <laughs> Sorry, folks, lots of stuff to keep an eye on this time around. Just need to make sure everything's going smoothly, otherwise we're, uh... Otherwise we're... What are we doing, otherwise? All right, we're gonna pick up a lot of workers. Okay, good. Over here, we're picking up coal, and obviously we can't pick up uh, gravel just yet, because no one's actually working it, so that's fine. But look at that money from the coal. We need to do this, we need to do it often. All right, so 103 workers now coming through. We didn't pick everybody up, did we? Nope, we did not. They're coming through. Where's our other passenger train? Our cargo train. All right, so this passenger train now is going to roll over to here. That bus is up there right now, so that's a little unfortunate. Move to that stop. Turn you around. All right, you're going to come over here. And you didn't drop anybody off. Oh, no, 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 that's not how this works, that's not how this works, why didn't you drop anybody off? Building cannot be reached from any residential or factory building, there's no road or footpath connection, is that why you're just not working? That doesn't make any sense. You want me to make a footpath connection to this, uh, area over here just to give you something to do? That's kind of dumb. Glad I was watching. Glad I was watching. I mean, I can do that. Don't know how much sense that makes. Um, well, for now, let's just simply do that. Okay. Now, listen, I... This is annoying. Oh, that's really frustrating. All right, fine. Keep going. We'll have to test it next cycle. Okay, you're going to go back. Fair enough. Not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. It really isn't. All right, so this train has moved on, and it is now picking up bricks, I believe. Yep. Now, bricks come through really slowly. Oh, no, they don't. Okay, that's quick enough. Feels really slow. But if each shipment makes me, what, six... Let's say 7k. This one's already carrying so much. So what? We don't even have... Oh yeah, it's all the clothes. All the clothes. If we can keep this stuff moving efficiently, which is again the plan. That'll be great. Building is without power supply. That's not so great. I need to fix that right now. Go ahead and get... You know, ever since they made Spacebar uh, an option to pause time, I've been using it a lot more. <laughs> I can pull a wire out from there, down to here. Didn't realize we wouldn't have power here, but let's go ahead and attach on this side. I think it would make most sense. Or I can just pop it over here. Right next to this cracks. Kind of use the space, so might as well do that. Because that way, we can do a much easier pull down. Uh, we can go up, over, there, and then down here. Of course, it's messy. Let's do that. There we go. That'll help this situation. We'll hopefully keep loading uh, vehicles, I mean, loading uh, clothes more. And... Where are you right now? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Loads coming through okay. We're still loading bricks on this thing, it's so slow. Loads being produced pretty quickly. Couple more workers and we'd be going at uh, maximum pace, but you know, this is pretty good though. This is pretty good. Because again, we have to transport it back and forth, it's slowing things down. God, I love, I love how intricate this game is. <laughs> Where is our other train? Is it at Mormorsk? We're gonna... Flip you around soon as possible. Oh, there we go. Taking it back to Mormorsk so we can, um... Ugh. Gotta wait until we get past a crossing, I guess. 
that's far away. Alright, we'll have to wait until the next cycle. Sorry, folks. I, I do need to keep an eye on this train. I need to make sure that it doesn't just uh, keep dancing back and forth like this bus is doing right now. Dancing back and forth, not doing anything. We need to get workers up here. <laughs> this train will hopefully in its next round actually drop people off. What's the issue? No, just, just come back here. Let's go. There we go. Night has fallen. Are we still working at full pace? Basically. Those got picked up. They're being dropped off at the... Uh... Yep, they are. Are people able to get clothes, though? Yes. Clearly they are. <laughs> Electronics, unfortunately, I'm having to buy from elsewhere, but it is what it is. And over here, yeah, we're getting clothes and stuff. Cool, cool. Culture. Place of spirituality, I don't mind, but culture is a problem. It's fine. How are these guys feeling? These guys are a lot more upset. That's the thing, this centralized structure I think has worked out pretty well for us. Uh, but I need I need to do something to make these guys happier because they're and they're missing out on pubs and all sorts of stuff. The closest pub is what all the way over here, right? These guys should be pretty happy. Oof. Sports. Ah. Uh, yeah, see, that's the thing. I didn't <laughs> I didn't actually this is actually not well planned at all, which arguably is thematic, but not good. Where is this train? Still only here, eh? Pick up the pace. Alright. There we go. There we go. Now, how many people are waiting? Okay, 60 people waiting. Alright. This is like our night shift right now. I'm wondering if I need more residential, actually. There's like 40 people in there who are just like staying on that train. It's like they have no place to live or something. Alright, and up over here. Well, hold on. First, we're right here. I might as well pay attention to it. Let me pay attention to this and then we'll deal with the uh, cement situation. Oh, look at these bricks getting dropped off. And you are still loading up on bricks. It slows us down a lot, but at least it makes us money. Alright, cool. We come here. Hopefully we drop people off. There we go. Half the people, right? Yes, excellent. And they're all going where? They're all going here. No, no, no. All of you go to that bus stop. They're all going to here. Again, glad I'm looking. Definitely glad I'm looking. Alright, so you're going to go down there. Move over. Bring back cargo. Yep, yeah, livestock and crops. Good, good, good. Hopefully keeping all this industry alive and, and running. This is good. I'm glad to see this complex network is actually working. Because I was getting really stressed out about it, that's for sure. Okay, so we know that people are being dropped off here, but the problem is that they're going over to here. Which I should have predicted, considering I needed to build that path before they'd even use that train station, which I think is ridiculous. But I guess it makes sense, okay. Um, and once you get to the bus stop and you get to this bus stop up over here, everything's in walking distance. Okay, cool. We'll need to be carrying more people, though. That's just it. We'll need to be carrying more people. And that's exactly why I want to send this to the depot and add another wagon to it. Oh my god, 133 people waiting. Okay, you go to depot. Excellent. These guys are arriving. A bunch of workers over here. I think we're going to top up, actually. Well, almost. Good stuff. Look at that productivity. All right now. You require... Another... Passenger wagon. 115, 125. 125 makes sense to me. Also, I will say as I buy that, it's really fun for me seeing when, uh, uh, in the comments, many of you actually say, yeah, I recognize that vehicle, it's what I, like, it's what I, you know, used to ride as a child or whatever. Like, whenever you guys point out that, yeah, we used to have that back in XYZ or wherever it is, or we have that in this, like, country where I'm currently living. I love that stuff. I think that's, I think that's really cool, because, like, just to give a little bit of insight on, uh, on myself and, you know, potential, 
I guess, quote unquote, <laughs> Soviet connection. That's a weird thing to say. But uh, I spent a lot of my uh, really young years, really young years, um, like before I even went to elementary school, uh, living in Yugoslavia, back when that was still, you know, uh, a thing. Um, so I've got, uh, I've got like very, very vague memories of like some things, but I just find it really fun when people mention in the comments like, oh yeah, this, this car or this tram or whatever, because again, very, the vaguest of memories for me. But it's just fun to see that kind of people, like, people of like re relating stuff. I always, I always do that when I can, and uh, <laughs> it's cool to see. Alright, you know what, we're making some good money. We're also losing a lot of money. What are we losing money on? Importing fabric. You know, I don't think I need that much fabric. I cannot sustain that level of production. So let's bring it down to four. Electronics and fabric. Those are our big uh, costs. At least power is constantly making us money. We're exporting more of it now. I guess ever since we uh, actually get got things set up properly, you know what I could do is I believe we can do that. Should make us more money, and hopefully we're not going to suffer too much for it. We'll find out. All right down over here, this train picking up a lot of passengers. I should hope eighty-eight workers. All right, that's a start. Ah, okay, few. I was like, oh no, don't get stuck now. Beautiful, it's actually working properly. Great. Bricks, you know, bricks actually are bringing us a fair bit of money for the rate at which we can produce it. Food was huge at one point, kind of dropped. Clothes is big. Clothes is big. I need to focus more on making clothes, perhaps. All right, here we come. Oh, okay, you are going to come back here. As soon as possible. Train arrives, train stops. Two cars is the right size, looks like. You all arrive over here, and you go into that bus stop. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And you get right onto this bus. Many of you are left behind. So that means we need another bus. This bus will... Students and stuff shouldn't be there, but just in case. Alright, good stuff. Hopefully these guys will hang around for a little bit as this bus arrives. Pretty intricate path over it, unfortunately. I could maybe set a road over this way. Make it easier for vehicles to get there. But, what's good is these 55 workers are making their way over. This bus is trying to get there as soon as possible. This is like, get out of my way! Oh, oh, <laughs> that's how accidents happen. Alright. Good stuff, good stuff. Just trying to smooth everything out over here before I take on this massive new undertaking, I guess. Still bleeding money. Is it still because of clothes? Alright, we actually reached a new year. A new year? It's 1971! Holy crap! Uh, okay. The fabric, we're buying a lot of fabric. Didn't actually click the save button, did I? There it is. Okay. There we go, we stopped bleeding money. Now the workers arrived here and they're now at work. Excellent, there we go. Start chopping down trees. Did anybody come down over here? Got a couple workers down over here. Alright. This bus is carrying everybody. No. Nope. They just left. They had enough. They're leaving. <laughs> Fair enough. This is bad. I need to start shipping more bricks out. This is cool, though. We're actually getting into a point where <laughs> where we're seeing lots of vehicles moving in every which direction what uh, what vehicle was this where are you where are you my carrier of bricks there it's the 706 rt i like keeping things consistent 
go ahead and copy yours and drop, drop, drop. Probably should stagger them a little bit. No, they have uh, four spots. The other one's coming back as well, though. So, you know, let's go ahead and let uh, one, two, three, four, and then we'll let the other one loose afterwards. Because we need to empty up some space. We've got workers just wasting their time here. Just wasting their time. How are you doing? Oh my god, that's the biggest shipment we've had in forever. That's huge. All right, folks, we are finally getting, you know, kind of sustainable. This is good. All right, so I feel a lot more comfortable now, I think, um, with building the rest of my, uh, like, cement plans. Why are you stuck here? Oh, because of this train. Ah, oh, I cacked something up because... Turn you around for now. Hopefully be able to cross. Alright, you know what? Easiest solution is... You keep going that way. And let's go ahead and send you back to the depot. It's just a matter of timing. Send you back to the depot. And we'll, uh, we'll ship it out. Just because this train needs to be able to get through. I'm wondering... They were blocking each other, and this train did not want to transition over to that. Even though it's chains. This so you should be a chain as well. Okay. Good now. Good now. You'll come here, you'll load up, and as you're loading up, this train should be able to make it by. Onto the right side of the tracks. That's the part that was confusing me. It's like, why weren't you... Curving over. Anyway. Problem solved. Moving on, I believe. Otherwise, these things will not be working. I'm really worried about the work rate. And we will need trucks to move stuff from here to here. And these guys are moving their boards down over to here, I think. Or are they just moving for now? Well, the trucks unload super fast, so that's cool. Start you up as well. Alright. Lots of bricks to sell. We desperately need that train to come back over here. There it is. Alright. I was like, how, how much longer? Uh, okay, let's go ahead and look at... So the cement plan requires coal and gravel. Gravel we'll get from here. Coal... I'm wondering how we'll... Split it out. We're actually not... We're not as much of a surplus as I was letting myself believe, if I'm completely honest. I need to be wary of that. We can split coal up over here. While I pull it up, move it across, it's going to be a little bit messy to manage. Push it down here as well. Or this does have another output, if I'm not mistaken. Um, oh, I am mistaken. Just the two outputs, okay. Well, if we are able to... I mean, we can go around this and over as an option. Oh, I love I love seeing this. I love seeing this kind of quote-unquote success. Alright, this one's a much cheaper haul, or much less worthwhile haul, but I wish you would load the bricks faster. Are you loading boards as well? You are. Oh, there we go. Cool. I mean, it'll make something. It'll make it something. Uh, but yeah, I think I should be able to split the coal off somewhere along the line over here, hopefully, to pull up more in our... The screen is, like, black right now, isn't it? To pull up more into our, uh, like, cement or, um, gravel area. And I think I'd probably put it down... Hard to tell, because, like... 
want it to be as convenient as possible, obviously. Hmm. Because the other option is to have the um, cement plant up at, top, at the top of the hill. Let's see. Uh, cement, 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 cement. Nope, that's under this one. There we go, cement plant. It's like coal, gravel, lots of gravel, and power. It's big, though, is the thing. It's massive. Now, unfortunately, nothing can be, like, auto ships to it. We got a spot over here. I'm gonna wait until the sun comes up before we uh, place that so people can see what the hell I'm doing. Buses are still empty. Where's our train? Have you broken again? Nope, workers in here. Okay, cool. I guess it's just like night shift, so fewer numbers. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Alright, so as I was saying. Uh, we might want to put down the cement plant. Wait, cement? Or... Yes. Because you need cement to make concrete. Yeah. The cement plant can go up over here. Right? We can, like, flip it down this way. Fit it kind of nicely. It won't fit this way, obviously. The reason why I'm trying to flip it this way is because then maybe when we actually put down our concrete plant, we'll be able to take it take uh, cement in directly rather than needing an, a separate silo or anything. Yeah, that seems like a wise move to me. So if the cement plant, which we're not auto-building right now, goes down over here, let's say. That road becomes a dead end, but this road can hopefully curve around. Oh my god, right, these trees have all been cut down. Okay, you know what? Maybe I should wait until these trees get cut down naturally. This is where I'd put it down. There we go. Workers arriving up there. And, and they're arriving down there. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Um, or maybe I just push and not really worry about these little trees. Because we've got plenty of trees up there. Other options to do it like over here or something. But I'd like to be able to use the conveyor belts in a more convenient fashion, if possible. And I feel like here is maximum convenience. Where to go? There we go. I feel like there's a good spot over here where I can get the roads coming through and I can use the uh, factory thing and I can use a conveyor belt without having to build too many of them. Because otherwise, we're going to have to go around the loop we can go down the bend. And, like, put it down somewhere over here. We've got a nice open space over here, actually. I'll put it down over here. We'd need another bus stop. I'm guessing. I don't think people... Actually, you know what? People might be able to reach from there to here. Do something like this. But well, if we do something like this, then the conveyors will have to go another extra step, which is what I'm worried about. We get power from two spots as opposed to one, so that's nice. Uh, and then the cement plant would be another step further back, so I don't know if I like that. Maybe we do this. Kind of a thing. You know what? I, I'm not minding this so much. Go up to, like, here-ish. Conveyor belt from here goes up and around. The coal is going to be a problem, but, that you know, whatever. We'll make it work. We'll make it work, sure. And yes, we'll draw power from two sources. Why not? Go ahead and flatten the train. Do it for free so it doesn't really hurt us in any way. Might actually need to do it a little bit further up. No, we should be fine. Just want to make sure the road can come this way. You know what I mean? What I'm going to do is I'm going to plant the road down first. Flatten that land. Come on. I'm watching that bus arrive as well. It's pretty cool that the loggers... Actually, wait, where are the loggers going with... Wait, hold on a second. 
What were they doing? Like, what are these things doing out over here? Are you carrying... Oh, they're probably getting fuel. That's probably what was happening. Are these guys working? No vehicle raid, a lodestone. No conveyor connection. Well, we don't have conveyor belts. Unless I missed something. Yeah. No vehicle ready to load stone. Well, I can't... Oh. Guess I get uh, one from down here. Stone. Covered hull? No, open hull, probably. What? Dumper? There we go. That makes sense. Uh, so sure, I can get something that carries... Again, we can go pretty cheap here. Four tons for 1667. Four tons for... No, that's more. Let's go with the... Um, go with two of these. This first one will have you... Go over to here and put this gravel there, or the stone rather, I should say, and you are going to start here and put it here as well. Okay, the other thing I want to do real quick is draw like a something, because people were wasting a lot of time. going from there to around this bend that is not good city planning so let's go ahead and do that that i can auto build all right cool that should help save some time at the very least cool 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 and are people still showing up over here not consistently enough where's my where's my train i feel like uh Goldfish, like I'm constantly getting distracted, but I feel like I need to. Oh, uh, why are you stuck again? Why does this keep happening? Oh, the extra wagon is probably too much. All right, we're gonna drop the wagon. That really sucks. That's probably what's doing it. Because that's the only variable I can think of. Alright, back up over here. Sorry. <laughs> Get back on it. Get this road out like so is the plan, I think. Do we could maybe... No, that's way too crazy, I think. Try that. Nah, that's, that's way too much of a dip, I think. I mean, it's free. Go ahead and do that. It'll be nice to at least get it a bit more gridded and gridded in, I think. And you know what? That's not the end of the world. We're okay. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I thought it was like, gonna take forever. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and see. Probably still a bit of a bump over here, which the game is not a fan of. There we go. Get this road set up over here. And then the actual plant itself. Cement plant. Go over here. I guess we're not drawing power from two. Oh, we are. <laughs> Just a matter of zoom level. All right, so we'll butt right up against this road over here. I put you down over here like so. Oh, still need to flatten the land. There we go. Put you down like that. And that will allow us to... Get a footpath going. We can connect to... Here. Which in turn can connect to... Well, let's make it a little bit prettier. Here. 
And all of this, well, none of this would be complete without a much required statue. Got a good empty spot over here. Surely we can fit something nice. Remind the people what it is they're working for. Mm. That's probably because of the f unflat terrain. Okay, okay, not a problem, not a problem. This is a priority, folks. Maybe I shouldn't use the bulldozer for this kind of operation. Bulldozing electric lines. All right. Level, height from the center. There we go. There we go. For the glory of the nation. Ooh, come on, tell me we can... F yeah, there we go. Mm, star? Yeah, let's go with the star. I was like, actually deciding, like, mm, yeah, do I want the star or do I want the, uh... want the, um... a sickle or... That. You should be able to connect like so. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get you building as well, I guess. Uh, no reason not to, right? gonna be expensive, but you gotta spend money to make money. Start with building the roads. And let's go. Where's our train? <laughs> Where's that passenger train of ours? Oh, we've got people waiting. Alright, well, we've got one bus coming. You're just empty. Right, at least this bus is going to pick some people up. I feel like I need more buses on this route just to make sure there's a constant flow. But, I mean, 55 of the 70 or so passengers is not bad. Only 20 left back, but still not ideal. And what's going on down over here? I guess four tons is not a good idea. Do I have to buy American? No. I mean, they don't have any workers right now, but... All right, I need to keep an eye on this. Because this is, this is really weird compared to all the other structures. And this bus? Yep. Carrying the people. This bus about to pick up 20 more? Nah, they left. They decided they didn't want to work. Now, hopefully... Gas station, this is the bus station. People can reach. They can. Excellent. But that just means I need to get more people coming here. We might need more trains, more houses, more of everything. This construction's almost done. Comes the bus. I want to see what the split's like. I'm going to leave it to the for the game to decide where people go, for now at least, just to see how efficiently it plans. It'd be cool to see all these like loggers and stuff going out as well. So these guys go that way. A bunch of people coming this way. A handful of people going that way. This building finished just in time. But like we haven't finished all the uh, little pieces it needs. Yeah, they're moving down here. Some people moving up over here. Not bad. Not bad. All right, how are we doing over here? This truck comes down, picks up stone, and then leaves right away. Maybe the four tons was a bad idea. Did not realize how those uh, things worked. The dumpers. You can find 7, 7.5, 12. 12 is good. This is cheaper, the one from Czechoslovakia. Alright, looks like we're getting a couple of these. You. Ah, uh, where'd we go? I'm lost. They say the city looks different at night. This isn't what I thought they meant. You're gonna start there, you're gonna end there. 
Go. You. You're gonna start here, you're gonna end here. Go. Alright. Hopefully that'll actually keep production up, because... Yeah, we are low on stone. Alright, the other thing I need to do is get a beautiful shot of this plant. And by that I mean of this star and this plant. There we go. As the sun rises, glory of our nation, the glory of our Soviet Republic. Damn trees getting in my way. Just have the thumbnail be this giant star. Yep. Totally my concrete plant. This is what it looks like. There we go. There we go. I think that's better. Hopefully the text is legible. Anyway. <laughs> spending too much time looking at that. I need to be looking at uh, my situation here. We need to get... Oh, look at all these trees getting chopped down. I don't know how I feel about that. And then all this stuff. I, I think it's pretty neat that the game visualizes all these things. Alright, let's... <laughs> time for the nitty gritty, right? We can go up from here, rather than pull another source out, which seems goofy as hell in terms of visuals, but it all pulls from the same thing. It's not like it actually has three separate um, storages. But you know what? We're actually producing pretty quickly. That's faster than I was expecting, if I'm honest. So that's promising. Let's go ahead and yeah, get this going. So build... So we can build you over here. What worries me is who's picking up the wood and bringing it back. Also, oh, look at that. 19K. That's insane. Oh, why are we losing money? All right. Probably buying some fabric right now. What I meant. Yeah, we're buying some fabric right now. How has this month gone for us? Oof. Now granted, we did just build a lot. That's fine. That's fine. It's just yikes. Okay, workers are arriving. Um, sorry, let's get back. Let's, let's stay on focus here. Let me check something real quick. I say as I say, we should stay focused. Um I'm exporting gravel right now, right? Gravel, gravel, gravel. Does it quarry the stone and then it becomes gravel? There it is. 9.96. Concrete, 11.99. Okay. Okay. Small difference. I mean, it could be a worthwhile difference, but it's a small difference. Small. Small difference. I'm just wondering what I'd rather be trading out versus not. Go ahead and put you over here, I think. Or we can put you over here. So you're in the clear. Nothing like that. Still powered. That going like so. Uh, see, the wood just disappears. Because these guys... Not only do they chop the wood, but they pick it up as well. Maybe I need more. Let's get another logger. I just saying that just makes me thirsty. But no, let's get another logger. Uh, Alright, so that connection's been made. Look at how confidently I'm not even using blueprint mode. Like, yeah, you know what? We're doing it live. I can pull this up over to here. So we're going to go ahead and do something like that. Like that. Just so this road can go... Crossways. Hopefully, we can come across. Actually, now, now the confidence runs thin. We do that. From here to here, yeah. See, Maybe that'd be a problem. So I could either get another one up over here, or I get only one up over here, or I could move it up higher. Makes life easier, I guess. Oh, 
Something like that. Yep. Boom. Got all these built. Get you built. Okay, good stuff. Operating without issues. And we should be able to now... Oh, there's our gravel coming through. We just need coal as well. Now, coal is going to be the bigger problem. This coal needs to come from over here. And this is a rough neck of the woods as far as clear spots are concerned. Other option is to actually use a vehicle to, to manual it manually. <laughs> And to carry coal from here to here. Maybe not a bad idea. Rather than making this disgusting maze of conveyor belts. Oh, but we're always capped up. Alright, you know what? I need to do something here. This is going to be the problem spot. Okay, blueprint modes, please. And thank you. We're going to set you up like so, I think. One step at a time. If I put you down there. Oh, we have a clear connection. That's more than I was expecting already. All right. Okay, okay. So far, so good. Like, which way do I want to go? This way or that way? That way looks messier. This way looks simpler. I can pull over to, like, here, maybe. Or I could pull over to here and go over you, maybe. All right, let's try that. Not get too cocky. Ah, nope, can't fit it. If we do something like this, I might be able to go under this. Let's try that. Real quick. Yeah, like I would do... Cam road. Fine though, it's fine. Might just be a matter of a step over. Go ahead and flatten this a little bit. Use the road as our benchmark. Okay, if I do something like that. Will you? Nope. Yep, excellent. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, feeling good, feeling good. One step at a time, one step at a time. But, up over here. Hmm. Or do we keep going? So many roads over here, though. Such a messy situation. If I can get up over to here, I might have a chance at this. I can destroy a lot of this infrastructure to flatten the train. I don't- if I go too far out, I don't think we'll be able to make it. Let's try it out, though. No harm, right? Overlaps with existing construction, I'm guessing... I can try deleting some of these. I'm guessing this isn't helping. Wow, really, eh? Try this. We're paused, so... messy. Oh, great. <laughs> now these, uh, wires are in the way. Hey, um, so let's go ahead and get those wires back. 
Thank you. Need to figure this out. Hmm. Okay, well, okay, we can't go this way, right? Plain and simple, we can't go this way. I think we have to keep moving up, maybe? Flatten some train up there, or we go this way and try to go over this way. Alright, the red was bothering me. Hmm. How far along do we think we can go with this thing without bumping into everything? This is why I was tempted to use a truck or something. Honestly, sometimes it can just be easier. In fact, I think most of the time it can just be easier. If I go all the way up over here, I wonder if it's enough of a height difference that it'll... Nah, it's probably way too much. Try it. Oh, infrastructure. Thought I had a spot. There we go. Again, at the end of the day, we're just blueprinting right now. That's fine. I wonder... That probably overlaps with, like, everything. Okay, we're gonna try this. Why? I don't know. Infrastructure below, so now it's the now it's the road talking. Okay, okay, okay. Or is it so many like Oh, there we go. Boom. It was. It was the power. Alright. Bring that back, obviously. Oh. There we go. Okay, there we go. Alright, so if that works... Then can we... Do something a little bit more cheeky here? Allows with instruct in existing construction, but which one is the question? Because all we need is the right height difference. It probably is actually this. Okay. That's unfortunate. But if I get rid of you and I tell the wires to build because we need those wires. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Power should be good. Looks like we're okay. Alright, so this is a problem, obviously. Okay, let's figure this out. We're paused. Could I potentially move you closer? Or move you like this? that, no, overlaps. I can put one down here. Like so. Can I do that? And then that? I can't. There we go. There it is, folks. Just a matter of adjusting heights and stuff, but I think we got it. I think we've got it. Go ahead and say, uh, actually, let's go ahead and say, whoops. Auto build. You need to be built. You need to be built. Definitely need to be built. Alright, so we've got these guys being built. All built. Okay, up over here. You need to be built. You know what? I was premature in doing that. Because I haven't actually connected... Coal. To the plant. However, that shouldn't be too much trouble. I think we've gone past the trouble spot. Because now I can just swing around this way. 
Now I can just swing around. <laughs> Game. Okay. Oh, you know, actually, already got this. This needs to be destroyed. I'll put you down here. I don't know how I feel about the uh, angles. Other option is over here. Okay, let's do that. Let's go ahead and put you down over here. Get this connecting to you. Nope. Excellent. Make sure we get those wires in place. God damn. <laughs> There we go. And what do you mean overlaps with existing construction? There we go. All right, excellent, excellent, easy, easy. Now you from here, we'll put you down like over here maybe. There we go. Again, nice and easy. From here up to here. At this point, it should be a, 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 a no big deal kind of situation. In fact, I can do this. Come on. There it is. Maybe let's move it over a bit more, like so. Cool. Hill causing obstruction? Are you kidding me right now? This little lump over here? Really? There, obstruct me now. There we go. This road, though, definitely a dead end. <laughs> definitely a dead end. And you, down over here. Done. Done. And... Done. Okay, we're good. We're good. Alright, awesome. Build all that up. And just like that... We should be working. There it is. There it is, folks. There it is. Cementing our place in the uh, world of manufacturing production materials. It's actually a really nice view. It's like, it's messy when you're like up close and like personal with it. When you just kind of spend a second or I suppose a minute, you know what, this is, okay, hold on. Before I say that, you guys are just killing me over here. Ah. Ruining my view. Ruining my view. Where are we? There we go. Like, this is a... It's a pretty good view. That's a pretty good shot. Off in the distance, we've got our farms. And the residential sector over there. There it goes. The icons are gone. I like this. Oh, very nice. Got a little star over here. God, that was a lot of work. That was a lot of work. And this is a messy, messy sector, but you know what? Gotta get your hands dirty, right? But look at that. We've got so... I was... I must have been misunderstanding the way the gravel and stuff was working, but we got plenty of gravel, plenty of coal right away just flooding through because we are processing so much coal. So I'm glad to finally have that going. So this is good. This is all excellent. We've got people coming here, not at the greatest rate, but... Well, don't tell me my train is stuck again. Well, rather, you know what? It's been paused for so long. There we go. Yeah, that was the problem. It was too long. And it couldn't navigate this situation. So if I want to change that, then I'll need to change this track section again. And that might be a little painful to deal with. But at least we know what the problem... At least we found out what the problem was. And at least we know we can solve it. I'm almost wondering if this train should make a second stop over here as well. Because this one can actually be bigger. This one doesn't navigate any crazy areas, I don't think. Yeah, let's do it. On the way back from Luhajik. This time around. We'll change it, obviously. Because that doesn't make any sense to ride past it and then come back to it. That doesn't make any sense. Or we can just... Do that. 
I mean, I guess I didn't tell them to go there. That's fine. Go ahead and delete that stop. We'll sort this out. We'll, we'll, we, we need to sort that out. But apart from that, things are going pretty well. Pretty happy with this. Look at that. The cement is pouring. So we need to figure out uh, how to ship it out, I guess. That's happening faster than I expected. But ladies and gentlemen, this is where we're going to call it a session today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we are in 1971 now. We're making, I think we're making a decent bit of money. Uh, though at the, at, the, at, the, at the cost of, obviously, you know, initial investments went pretty well as always if you had a good time make sure you let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below it makes a very big difference in how i approach content on the channel and as always a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis you keep things alive and running smoothly and i greatly appreciate it and of course a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching till next time das vidanya <laughs>